What's up guys? Welcome to 2018. Welcome to Vision Out Loud. My name is Vision. I'm still not comfortable calling myself that, but whatever. <laughs> um, if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe somewhere down below. I have a topic request for today's video that I think a lot of you guys are going to be able to relate to or you just think is interesting. So without further ado, here we go. So how many of you guys have been in a situation where you know you have to do something, but you can't get yourself to do it? Like you'll put mental stress on yourself, tell yourself you have to do it, write it down, do all these different things, but you just can't get yourself to do that one thing. Well, I got a text from one of my friends this weekend saying that she was feeling and dealing with depression, um, had feelings of discouragement, and she wanted to go out with her friends, but she really just couldn't get the feeling to. She wasn't, because of the way she was feeling, she couldn't go out. And she asked me this question, she's like, what keeps you focused and what keeps you motivated? And this is a question I get from a lot of different people in a lot of different ways, and so I wanted to address it as best I can. I had a lot of stuff prepared to talk about for this video, but I'm going to try to not use any of it and just kind of wing it. Um, I keep going into this cliche thing of trying to like talk about and help you guys, but I want to just try it as best as I can to explain what actually motivates me. Not what I think you guys should do, not what I think you can do to motivate yourself, although I'll probably inevitably talk about that. but really just try to understand myself as best as I can and explain it to you guys. Um, so, yeah, this is gonna be strange. <laughs> what motivates me? Um, I think fear more than anything. This is so different, this is so raw. I wasn't used, to, I wasn't gonna do this kind of thing. <sighs> okay, if, I, if I'm being completely honest, what motivates me is wanting to be somewhere um i think it really comes down to the premise of the whole channel what vision is is what i picture for my life for other people's life just it's about where we can be it's about the ideal and trying to work your way towards it while accepting that things aren't going to be there um, when you're going through things like depression it's hard because you want to be at the ideal place and you're down here and it's just you're stressing yourself out thinking you have to get there you have to get there you're not there and you just keep beating yourself up in your mind but it doesn't really do anything for you and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about was like the biggest thing is don't put pressure on yourself um, whatever you're feeling is okay don't compare yourself to like Bob, Billy, Jean, Carol, anyone, like, because they're more productive where you think they are. In the day and age of Instagram, where, like, and social media in general, where, like, there's so much hype around the grind and, like, pretending or even actually being productive, you don't know how productive a person actually is, and most of us are the same. Like, we all have the same habits, more or less. I think social media in general has made us all more similar than anything else, so we all go on Netflix, Netflix YouTube binges. We all read articles or browse social media to some extent. Um, you know, like everyone kind of goes through these things. We're not all productive all the time. Um, adults might be, people that aren't used to it, like my dad might be, but like, you know, even then they're not. Um, and there's just, there's things that you do better than other people and there's things that other people do better than you. You can't just, you can't always be trying to be the best at everything, even though that's kind of what this is about. That's what I'm about. Um, so part of what I do to stay motivated, I guess just intrinsically have learned this over time, is not beat myself up. Um, I low-key love the moments when I'm down and not feeling well. There's this thing inside of me where I... <coughs> there's this thing inside of me where I just love the struggle. I love being down and feeling like I'm pressed into the floor, like I can't get up. Not like actually like that, but just me metaphorically, like um, just feeling like... I'm completely stuck and like just when shit sucks like shit, it, it just really sucks I love that because I know I know that I are I deep inside intrinsically I know that I'm gonna be somewhere right I know I'm gonna get up I know I'm gonna be okay and I know that when I do get up I'm gonna kill it I'm gonna slay it I'm gonna just nail everything kill everyone you know like that kind of thing I know it's gonna be good so it's just like I just love the struggle and seeing how I overcome it and just watching myself from afar kind of like do things like that. So that, that motivates me. Um, just knowing deep inside, I have this intrinsic drive that I know that like, I'm going to be okay. So that makes it easier when I am struggling through things. Um, I'm going to die and I'm highly cognizant about that. And I think about it a lot. Um, 
I don't think I'll be ready for it when it does come, but I think about literally the amount I drive, it's probably gonna happen, but like, I could at any moment, we could be bombed, I could go out and drive and get nailed by a different car or a train, um, a deer could come in the road and fly through my windshield, um, someone could shoot me, I could lose all my limbs, you know, like, there's just so many things that could happen that ha that don't <coughs> and haven't, and so I'm like constantly aware that life is short, and that pushes me, and on the other hand, I'm constantly aware of how, li how short life is and how grateful I am for the fact that I'm alive and well and healthy and everything I have around me. I've been so blessed to have the life I have, to have the parents I have, to have the people in my life that I have. And so it's just, I feel this pressure of, it's a positive stress, I would say, of like, just the opportunity I've been given, like with the, the everything I've been given in life, like the knowledge, the education, the drive, intrinsically, the motivation, um, everything, all the blessings I've been given just motivate me kind of all the time on a like low key level, just constantly pushing me to like want to do something one day with my life, you know, and want to give back. That's the biggest thing is like when people talk about motivation, I'm just like, it, it really fires me up. Other people, that's the other one. So like number three would be like other people motivate me like no other. Because like when I got that text, I wasn't feeling particularly motivated, but I got that text and then I got angry. Because like, how can you not be feeling motivated? There's people starving and dying in Africa that don't have clean water or access to food. There's people in India that some, some, someone's boyfriend or someone's girlfriend just got raped and that was someone's, you know, that's just like, I can't. And there's, um, there's homeless people that are out there in the cold right now. And it's just, I can't with, and there's even on a like more subtle level, there's people that are going to private university, having to pay for the whole thing themselves, going through stress, mental health issues, physical health issues, like other things, you know, there's just people that go through a lot. So to feel that my struggle or to put that in that perspective just helps me a lot. Um, so that's one thing is other people motivate me. Um, and then in another way, not in the, the way of like perspective, but in the way of people have all these dreams. Like I see people every day, not every day, but like I see people all the time who like tell me they have a dream. They want to be a YouTuber and travel and do all these things. And they really want it more than anything else. And yet they're not doing anything about it. And it pisses me off, man. And that motivates me um, because I feel that responsibility. And I don't know why I feel it, but that's kind of what vision is. It's I feel it's my job to help these people realize their dreams and live a better life and not live a mediocre life because I've realized that I can do anything I want. Um, I think that's one thing that motivates me is I've seen that, that literally whatever I set my goal to, if I just set it super ridiculously high, I'll get pretty high. I'm, I won't hit it, but I'll get there. And like, if I want to be anything, I can be it. And I didn't know that before. I didn't know that I could make it in music if I just spent enough time and worked hard enough to do it. Like, <laughs> there's just certain things that um, people don't get and I feel it's my responsibility to help them understand because there's people super resistant to everything I just said. They'll like fight me on it. And I just feel a responsibility to the people that are willing to be open-minded about it and are do have the potential in them. I feel a responsibility to them and a duty in some sense to myself to help them. Um, I don't know what that is and I don't know why, but I feel it. Um, let me scroll through and see what else there was. All right, the biggest thing, and I talked for a while, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be. This is like a raw video. I didn't intend to do this. This is really weird for me to do, but I, hopefully it like connects better. I don't know. Um, literally, I'm not like all high energy, like, man, we gotta go, you know, like I'm not doing that and it's gonna be different. One thing is people talk about like, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay motivated? And I'm just like, I don't, you don't. Um, and it's a foolish goal in my opinion. <sighs> Staying motivated, first of all, that would be ridiculous. Like, can you imagine that? Always just being going, 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 not taking a break, you know, like. So it's not about that for me. It's more of how do I design my life so that I don't need motivation? Because I realized early on, life's gonna suck. It's just gonna keep getting worse in some sense. 
like my body's gonna start deteriorating. Um, I'm gonna have more money, more problems, more kids, more wives, I guess, more, <laughs> um, you know, just everything. I'm gonna have more of everything and it's gonna suck, more taxes, more bills, more everything. And as I get older, people are gonna start dying. People are gonna, I just realize how much things are gonna not be convenient always. So motivation is a horrible thing to rely upon um, because I'm always gonna get punched in the face, left, right, slap, here, you're down, stuff thrown at you. You know, like it's just not gonna get better. <laughs> like shit might be good for a few weeks or a few months, but I don't expect it to always be good. I'm literally gonna make a video soon about what my excuse would be for every year of this every week of this year because I can predict all my excuses already like there's I, it's just so predictable that I'm not gonna have motivation all the time so like I think it's a bad thing to rely upon and a bad goal to have I've realized recently that habit is everything so I have the motivation to create habits and if you're asking where that comes from I guess knowledge um, because I've studied and read and learned and I'll post some videos for you guys here that'll help. Like, they've actually done a study where they showed people motivational talks and they performed worse. So like, motivation is not necessarily the thing to chase. But habit for me is, because on the days that I don't go to the gym, I still work out. Um, and that's just habit. I haven't drank soda in years because of habit. And it comes from the knowledge that, um, the reason I work out is I have the right why for a lot of things. So I guess that's what my motivation comes from is the knowledge and the why. If your reasoning's not good enough for certain things, you're not gonna wanna do them when it gets hard. And the reason I work out is because I wanna live longer. Not, not just because I wanna look better and be physically whatever. It's literally because lifting weight is one of the only proven ways to make you live longer and stretch your telomeres, which, science, but <laughs> it'll make you live longer. And that's why I do it because to maximize my impact in the world, I have to live as long as I can. So another one of those things I just feel I have to. Um, and just, it's so, I think you guys understand the power of habit. Um, when your motivation fails you, that's when habit kicks in. Um, when you don't want to be doing things, but you do them just because you're used to doing them anyway, it's just, that's the key for me. So focus on forming habits um, and I can go now into my little rant about fixing the well um, so many people and I think focusing on motivation is such a short-term thing where my battery's low I'll be right back well um, yeah so back to the, what I was saying um, focusing on motivation is such a short-term thing people once they get their motiv once people get motivation, they start focusing on the task at hand and they start just delving into that. Then when they lose their motivation, they stop focusing on the task at hand, they focus on the motivation. Something about that seems wrong to me. Shouldn't you always be focusing on the task at hand, regardless of the motivation? That's where habit comes in for me. So for me, it's a short-term thing. If you're focusing on motivation, that seems very short-term. So me, I focus more on the long-term, which is habit. Um, because if I have the habit, my motivation can go up and down forever, but my habit will keep me doing it throughout. What will change is how much I do it. Like on some days I'll work out 45 minutes an hour, other days one, two minutes. So like that changes, but I'm always doing it and it always keeps my momentum going, which is important. Um, literally all of this just comes from knowledge and like wanting to be somewhere with my life. I don't know, like it's intrinsic. I can't explain it that well, but um, it's just fear, man. Like knowing I don't want to have, I'm literally currently optimizing my life for regrets. So for not having regrets rather. So like, I don't want to live my life where I have a regret. Um, so that's, I live my life that way. Um, yeah. So short term and long term. Yeah. I forgot to talk about that. <laughs> um, look, short term is your sink or your faucet breaks. What you don't realize is that it's because you're not getting a steady stream from your well. So fix the well and the sink and the faucet will perform more consistently. So if you can 
install the habit, fix the well, and fix the reason for why you have the habit, because that's key to fixing the well. The faucet and the sink won't break as much, and when they do, they'll still function better. That's the whole thing. I think over time as I've been filming this, my energy has just gone down and down, lower and lower, my vocabulary as well. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this. It was super raw. I don't know if I'll make, an, I'll definitely make another video like this, but yeah, um, outro time. <laughs> I'm gonna, my YouTube channel is gonna get better over time. Anyway, if you think there's anyone who will benefit from my channel, from me, from anything that I'm doing, please tell them to add me on Snapchat at Vision Out Loud or follow this channel. Um, please subscribe because I'm trying to grow that. Um, and yeah, it's late, so I'm gonna just try to post this. Hope this helped. <laughs> this is being recorded afterwards, but one of the big things for me and the reasons I'm staying motivated is like, I realize that I can do anything and any one of you can do anything too. If you want to create a multi-million dollar business, you can do it. And because of that, I have all of this drive to do because I realize that I can do anything. If I don't do anything, as in like, if I want to be a musician, which I'm not sure if I do, but if I want to, and I don't become it, I'll have a lot of regret. So that keeps me pushing. I don't know if that makes sense or that clicks with any of you. <laughs> Imagine if you wanted to be a golfer or a tennis player or want to create your own marketing business or if you wanted to become an actress or anything like that. If you imagined and you realized that you could become as big as an actress as you wanted to, then if you didn't, it would hurt a lot. And because I know that about my life and myself, I am driven by that fear of regret. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna make a better one <laughs> later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I realized that not all of the ways that my brain functions is healthy or normal. Um, I'm not telling you to do the same or be the same even though it'd be awesome if there were lots of me's. That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, not recommended for everyone. I'm just, this is me trying to explain me. So yeah. We only been talking late at night. Don't catch I got only one thing on my mind. Don't catch I just want your body, so let's just keep it on the low. Why the fuck you think I give you time? Don't catch feelings